Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another episode of this little World Cup mini series. We're into episode two. Of course, the previous episode was the entire group stage. If you did miss that video, there will be an annotation on screen in the bottom left hand corner of your screen to take you to that video. I may, in fact, leave a link in the description as well so you can go and see that if you missed it out. But of course, we did qualify. As you can see, we're through to the knockout stages of the World Cup. And in the first knockout round, we have Chile. We've drawn uh, the South American side and uh, they've got some decent players. Of course, you've got players like Arturo Vidal, players like Alexis Sanchez. Um, who else is there? There's the another guy from uh, from Juventus, Maurice Isla, uh, Gary Medel, obviously of Cardiff. Now, this is actually my first live commentary of FIFA 14 as a whole, so uh, hopefully it goes down pretty well indeed. I've gained quite a few new subscribers since uh, since FIFA 13. Well, I used to do uh, a few career mode live comms every now and again if we had, say, a big game in the Champions League or a cup semi-final or cup final or perhaps a game against a big rival, then uh, I would do a live commentary for that. So, as always, I'm not sure whether you'll see the entire game or whether you'll see it just uh, cut and pasted sections of it. Uh, I guess it will just depend on how comfortable I feel the live commentary is, how com uh, how entertaining it's been, and that was supposed to be a fake shot, or a fake cross, but uh, what, oh, Benzema's managed to nip in there. Can I get a runner from deep? I can. Matweedy is left footed, so we'll try and work it out to this right hand side. Now, if you are new to the series or new to the channel, then uh, feel free to subscribe. There will be, I uh, keep that, you know, he hasn't. There will be a link to subscribe in the top right hand corner and a link in the description as well. Feel free to follow me on Twitter as well, at Chesnoy Gaming. We've been gaining quite a few subscribers quite a few followers rather over there recently and I'd like to gain you know uh, a larger a larger Twitter following We've only got about 250 plus ish subscribers at, uh, followers at the minute I always I always confuse that uh, 250 plus followers on uh, on Twitter at the minute and I'm very very active on Twitter so if you're on Twitter and uh, you'd like someone else to follow then uh, feel free to uh, to give me a follow and uh, I'd be more than welcome or more than willing well, more than happy to uh, to have you over on Twitter, get some interaction. So I don't network too much. It has to be said, uh, as much as I might like to, perhaps because uh, has Nasri gone down injured? There he has. That's not good. Uh, but a one, um, oh, can I change player to a player that I actually want to change to? That is a let off. I don't know whether you heard me hitting change player there. It just wouldn't change to the player that was near the ball. Got me on the overlap here. There's the lob through ball. Canilla's brought it down wonderfully. Great save from Hugo Lloris. Is that is Nasri back on? He's just snuck back on the pitch. Although he's not been able to uh, to get to that one. Get out. Debussy will use Nasri. It looks as if I might have to take him off, actually. It doesn't look like he's moving too freely. So uh, we've got options on the bench. I've got perhaps Paul Pogba or Johan Kabai. Go on, Ribery. Get a bit of space. We'll do a cheeky Ronaldo chop to get inside the box. Benzema's pulled off. Try and get the turn. And a finish right into the top right hand corner. Karim Benzema puts France 1 0 up. Love that salute celebration, by the way. Lloyd Remy did that against Spurs, didn't he, from uh, Newcastle the other day. Absolutely beautiful. Timed it to perfection as well, of course, considering it was Remembrance Sunday. So very, uh, very apt from Lloyd Remy. Very apt from Karim Benzema. And uh, we will take a 1 0 lead. France 1, Chile 0 in the no first knockout round of the FIFA World Cup. Uh, Arturo Vidal, you'd say, is probably. Go, get out. You'd say Arturo Vidal is probably, uh, probably Chile's best player. Uh, seriously, fantastic talent in Serie A for Juventus. Try not to let... It's, uh, actually, thinking about it, I don't even think Alexis Sanchez is on the pitch. I was going to say the two main threats will be Vidal, despite him being an, a midfielder, not an attacker, and uh, Alexis Sanchez. But I can't see... Well, Payet's made a great run in behind. I'm not sure whether he's onside or not. He's not. He's just off. It was a good run. Payet actually since he made the move from left mid to right mid has been a little bit less effective I did enjoy using him last year at left mid on uh, on ultimate team and especially in fact his team of the season card was very impressive uh, at right mid he's not really had the impact that uh, I might have liked him to although still he's a decent winger he's got a bit of pace he's got four star skills so he can uh, you know he can create chances of course he set Benzema up for our first goal against Uruguay in the group stage with uh, a nice ball across flashed across the box but um, oh that was a nice one too cheeky overlap from Debussy can we get where's Benzema why are you not in the box try and stand it up not done well Matuidi is going to get there though he's left footed can I get it back on his left I can't Benzema finesse shot blocked Ribery can you get there no oh he can Ooh. Uh, run, please, Frank. Thank you. 
I'm not. I don't want to slate Ribery off because he is a fantastic player, but I'm not overly keen on him in real life or on FIFA. To be completely honest, he goes for so much money on Ultimate Team, and I just I cannot fathom why he goes for that price tag. He's no better than say Marco Royce or someone of that uh, that sort of caliber. Although I'll try a finesse shot with him here and he's placed that horribly wide. He's no better than say Marco Royce, apart from the fact he's got five star skills, but it's not really that effective on a game like this. So why he goes for hundreds of thousands of coins and Marco Royce goes for about eighty, I don't know. To be fair, I much prefer Marco Royce as a player to uh, to front Ribery, but I guess I guess it's all subjective, it's all relative, it's all a matter of opinion. And that if you personally enjoy Frank Ribery, then congratulations. I hope he scores you many a... that is the biggest of defensive mix-ups, I'm just going to clear it. I don't want to take any risks, and that may have worked out in my favour. Can we get a runner, please, from deep? Or just from anywhere? Nasri, you lazy son of a... It wasn't Nasri, it was in the middle. Whoever that was in the middle was just be oh, I'm run out of space. Whip. Get there. There was a guy in the middle on that breakaway that if he'd have made a run, well done, Frank. It made a run, could have actually stood a chance of getting through there. Uh, Ribery's made another run in, I can't find him. Although we might still be able to build something. I'm not sure why Nasri and Paye seem to have switched positions. Kind of annoying, considering Paye has a little bit more pace and is more adept on a wing. Although I guess if Nasri's injured, it might be uh, it might be the best place for him to get him out of the way on the wing, so he doesn't make a mistake in the middle and cause me too much problems. Ribery, not really chipping in defensively like I might like him to. Neither's Koscielny, for that matter. Ice ball into the box. They've got a man over. And it's 1-1. Arturo Vidal, of course. It had to be Arturo Vidal. Cheeky little celebration with a little love heart. Thinks he's Angel Di Maria or Gareth Bale. And that's 1-1. They had the man over. It was just an easy finish, in all fairness. Hugo Lloris didn't really stand much of a chance there. All he had to do was get it, you know, not hit it straight at him. And it was going to be into the back of the net. So we're 1-1, very close to half-time. And it looks like I'm going to have to pull my finger out. In the, uh, in the second half because well as we go straight into half time almost effectively the last kick of the half so we'll go in at half time at 1-1 it's been a decent game so far we've had a few opportunities not too much though to be completely honest there haven't been that many let's have a quick look at the stats and see what the situation is I'm going to have a quick squig swig of water to excuse me As you can see, it's been quite an even game so far. Three shots apiece. One on target for us, which was, of course, the goal. Two on, to two on target for them. So I may I may take Nasri off, actually, because um, he's just not performing. Who have we got on the bench? Goodbye, or Pogba. Uh, in fact, I may put Loic Remy in there. Just have an extra, uh, an extra decent shot or an extra striking threat. So uh, maybe Loic Remy can work from that uh, centre-forward role or cam role. Uh, of course, it's the same system that we are using at Tottenham at the minute in the career mode. Uh, although, of course, that will be finishing very, very soon with the uh, with the release of Next Gen and Xbox One. We will be restarting the uh, career mode series at a different team. So, uh, be excited for that. I'm very excited for that, to be completely honest. If uh, if you are following me on Twitter and you saw me tweet the other day, I've actually uh, I'm just getting a custom-made intro for that series. Going to have a Chelsea career mode custom intro. So, uh, hopefully, that will look a little bit more professional. Than, uh, than my current intro so uh, you know trying to freshen things up for next gen and really uh, give the channel that little bit extra and hope to grow a little bit more if we can we've been growing fantastically so far through uh, through FIFA 14 channels effectively oh my god get out how many times can I hit clear don't you dare give a pen I really thought he was going to give a pen there I was hammering B with absolutely everyone and no nothing happened on Benzema. Frank, you're fast. You better... Oh. Go on, get there. Okay, I'm struck second half. What is going on? We really need to uh, step it up. Come on, boys. Win that, please, Gail. Rebri, do the work. We've got some uh, some attacking options on the bench still with Kabai, uh, Bia Biani, and uh, I think I've got... Uh, Antoine Griezmann on the bench as well. I'm not entirely too sure. Can't remember whether I subbed him off. But of course, Pogba can come on, and there might be a bit more of an attacking threat in a CDM role than uh, get there. than Matuidi or um, I can't remember who the other one is. Is it Mavuba? I can't honestly can't remember who I've got in the middle. I think I've got Matuidi and Mavuba. 
uh, they're going to make a change. Pinilla looks like it's going to be the uh, the player coming off. He's a striker, isn't he, Pinilla? So uh, this may be the introduction of Alexis Sanchez that we were uh, perhaps waiting for. It's not. It's her Fernandez. I'm not entirely too sure who he is, to be completely honest. My uh, I like to say that my football knowledge is at least half decent, but there are some uh, some players that I just I don't really know who they are yet. Uh, in fact, there was a Fernandez. If you remember from the um, Payes, made me a great run. If you remember from the Borussia Dortmund career mode, please get there. Oh, Borussia Dortmund career mode last year on FIFA 13, there was a Fernandez that played for Bayer Leverkusen that uh, that scored against me in the cup semi-final. That may be the uh, the very same Fernandez. I'm not entirely too sure. Having a bit of trouble trying to get out of defence here. I might be able to uh, to pick it up off him if I can. Vargas, he is rapid. I've been looking at him in the uh, in the career mode, uh, just sending a few scouts out. He plays for Napoli in uh, in Serie A, and uh, I sent my scouts to Serie A just to look for some new talent. And uh, Vargas is one of the players they brought back to me, and I scouted him fully, and he is extremely fast. Go on, Ribery, break behind the, the the defensive line. I'm going to try and cut inside, and we'll give it a whack. And it's a great save from the goalkeeper. Who who is the Chilean goalkeeper? Can't think of any Chilean goalkeepers off the top of my head as to who it might be. Go on, Mangala. Oh, fantastic header! Should never have won that. The defender really made a mistake there. He had the positioning on him was in front of him. Really should have won that header. We'll have a look at the replay. Oh, he gave him a little nudge in the back. Do you see that? He gave just just a little nudge in the back. And that was enough to uh, to put the defender off and uh, be able to get the header on target straight through the goalkeeper. And with 2-1 up, looks like, hopefully, if I can solidify defensively, I may, in fact, make that defensive change and bring Paul Pogba on for uh, Mavuba or Matuidi. Try and uh, solidify at the back, make sure that we can pick up this uh, this victory in the knockout stage and get through to the quarterfinals of the FIFA 2014 World Cup. Because uh, it would be nice. This is the first, actually, international tournament I've... Oh, don't like that. I've ever done. Save that. Lloris! Oh, he's offside. C just catch it, mate! I know you took a bang to the head the other day, but jeeps. Straight at him. Just catch it, what you're doing. And he's FIFA all over, palming it straight to a striker. He could have palmed that anywhere. Absolutely anywhere, but he palms it straight to the striker. Thankfully, he was offside. That was retarded from Hugo Lloris, it has to be said. But, uh, no, as I was saying before... Oh, God. Great block, Mangala. He's having the game of his life. Uh, as I was saying before uh, I kind of interrupted myself many times, uh, this is the first international tournament that I've actually ever... Have we got a break on his offside? First international tournament I've ever done in a, in a career mode kind of mini-series, or even in any career mode at all, even off-camera. Um, we were managers of Belgium, was it, in the Sunderland career mode at the beginning of FIFA 13, but we never actually went through uh, an actual uh, World Cup period with them. So it's a new experience for me, uh, bringing it out and uh, making a series like this. It's only like a little mini-series for a bit of fun. But uh, you guys really did respond extremely well to the first series. I got loads of likes, loads of comments as well, with plenty of uh, suggestions for signings for the uh, for the Tottenham team for when we get back to the genuine career mode. So if you have any more, by the way, then feel free to leave me some extra suggestions in the comment section down below. I know Google+, Plus, the Google+, Plus Ferrari, is uh, still going strong, and uh, a lot of big YouTubers are trying to uh, do what they can to uh, make the best of the situation. A few people have had to, had to actually turn their comments off because of uh, all the virus links, etc., and the uh, <laughs> the genitalia being drawn as swastikas, etc., because there isn't a character limit in the comments. But uh, please don't do that on my videos. I will just... Oh, how's he got through there? No! Larice, great save. Too busy uh, talking about swastikas and penises to, uh, to actually concentrate on my defending. There's a great... Uh, drag back and touch through. Here comes Alexis Sanchez. Here's the trouble. In fact, I will use that opportunity then to make the change. It's Mvia, not Mavuba, who's the other holding mid. But I will actually bring on Paul Pogba. And uh, yeah, we'll just make the one change for now. We'll leave one. We've got 10 to 12 minutes left of normal time, plus a little bit of added time. Probably won't be that much, actually. Maybe two or three minutes. And hopefully, hopefully, if I can hold on, we can push through to the next round of the World Cup. We've got quarterfinals next. All right, I'll skip that. Uh, we've got the quarterfinals next. There are still some big teams in it in the competition. We'll have a look at the end of this one to see who's still in. Uh, if we can get through the biggest tie, I think, of the round is uh, is Holland Belgium. I think that was the one that I pointed out in the last 
episode. Can we get that over the top? We can. Is their goalkeeper called Ponce? Or was that a centre-back? Not entirely too sure. I just saw the name in the bottom left change to Ponce. Friends of Lardi, or Friends of Lida. That was a tongue twister almost. Fernandez, I'm wary of this run on the bottom right-hand side of my screen. Oh, should have been wary about the run at the top. But uh, fortunately, the player is uh, particularly wasteful. Who else are they bringing on now? They're taking off Gary Medell, bringing on Valdivia. Don't know who that is, to be completely honest. So I'm not sure whether he's a midfielder or an attacker. You presume if he's going off for Gary Medell, he would be a central midfielder, but we'll have to wait and see. Right, can you make a 1 2 run, please, Loic? No, you just kind of stalled. Although that is a great run if I can find him, I can't. Benzema doesn't particularly have the the passing abilities of, say, a Sami and Azri. Uh, that is a great ball over the top. For some reason the defender stopped and run. And Gala is an absolute brute. I have to say, I am loving playing with it. Oh, it says as I completely missed the challenge. No, get out. Weird clearance. I would have preferred if you just kind of kicked it. But yeah, I am really, really enjoying playing with Mangala, actually. He's been particularly impressive for me at centre-back. Go away, Arturo. I don't like you anymore. I used to like you as a player, but you scored against me, so now I hate you. Get there. Benzema, cut inside. Uh, cut inside again. Finesse. Oh, blocked. Oh, I didn't drop just wouldn't quite drop. We've got two minutes of added time. So look... Oh, no, actually, I don't want to tempt fake because they're doing their pushing forward right now. No! Mangala, please get there. Yes, Mangala! Absolute hero. What a tank. Win that, please, Karim. Uh, not entirely where I wanted to head that, but that should, that should be enough to see us through to the next round. Come on, ref, do me a favour. And we've got possession back, and we're through to the next round of the World Cup. That is absolutely superb. We've won that one, two, one. France two, Chile one. Goals from uh, from Karim Benzema and Mangala, proving that he probably was going to get man of the match. You see, Chile had more shots on, more shots overall. Who uh, who actually got man of the match in that? Let's have a look. It was Frank Ribery got man of the match. Mangala only got a seven and, and a half. A uh, little bit strange. I would have thought Bangala would have done uh, would have done better than that. But let's have a look at the uh, thing to see who else has got through. There's only been one other game played as we uh, as we look at this one, and it's Argentina going through against Colombia, 4-3 on penalties after a 2-2 draw after extra time. So that is going to bring this one to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That'd be absolutely wonderful. Of course, if you aren't subscribed, like I say, do feel free to hit the subscribe button and make sure that you don't miss out on the rest of this series, the rest of the career series is coming with Tottenham between now and Xbox One and then of course all of the next generation content that's going to be coming on this channel to you every single day so that is going to wrap this up thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time